Hello, the real troll here, and today I'm just here to show you a quick and simple tutorial on how to make your own uh, vanilla 1.6.2 server. And uh, so, what you want to do, you want to create a new folder, name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it this because I already have one down here. But anyway, so you want to open up your browser. I'll have links to everything in the description, but if you don't want to follow the links, you can just go to minecraft.net slash download. Oh, wow, I'm stupid. Uh, you want to go to minecraft.net slash download. I'll have links in the description, but do not make the same mistake I did. I, done, I clicked the dot .jar, you do not want the dot .jar, because otherwise it's just really complicated and it screws everything up. So instead you want to download the exe. Wait for that to download. And then you're going to open up your folder. You're going to put that into the folder. See it? Uh, I already have that, that's why it says 1, so you're just going to backspace everything until it says just that, just Minecraft server. You're going to run it, wait for it to do this, wait until it says done. That's important because it's downloading all this stuff. Wait until this says done. Okay, it says done. Now you, what you want to do, you want to type slash stop. And then it's, it closes it, and then you can just hit X. You can just hit X. Okay, I guess you have to wait for that then. X. There we go. Okay, now what you want to do in here, um, everything's basically ready, but when you run it, it only has um, a few megs. Uh, so if you want to put, like it only has 46% free. If you want to get more RAM into it to get more, uh, to make it less laggy, you want to create a new text document, name it run, then you're going to go into it and you're going to paste this. I'll have, oh, whoops, nope, that is the wrong thing. I am sorry. Hold on, I'll just skip, I'll just skip this part. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to copy and paste this into your thing and what that's gonna do that's gonna put more RAM into the server and so right here are the two four digit numbers of how much RAM you want in uh, for one gigabyte it's 1024 for two gigabytes it's 2048 and so yeah you wanna make sure that this says minecraft server.exe and then you just hit X, click save, and then you're just going to click this, click here, and name that .bat instead of .exe, or pfft, text. If you don't have these little things, then what you're going to have to do, you're just going to have to go up into the corner, click file, save as, and then you want to name it, uh, you want to save it as run.bat, and then uh, when it says file type, just select all files. So then I click that, click yes. Now it says run.bat. What that's going to do, you're going to double click that, it opens this little black window, and then it opens this window. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now it says like it, it has almost 100% free. So that's going to give you a lot more RAM and a lot less lag. And then you can just hit so stop here stops it and then it says click any key to continue and then you can go in here and edit your uh, properties or whatever you're just gonna want to like change your message of the day you can just go you can name your server whatever change this to 15 this isn't essential but I just like doing it uh, max players you don't want 20 players I just like to have five like I just invite my friends PvP, you can change that to true or false. Um, texture pack, just put the uh, link to 
whatever texture pack, like, um, if you want to set a specific texture pack, like, I'll show you DokuCraft, a uh, really great texture pack, by the way, I really recommend it, so you gr scroll down, find whatever, and then you're going to find the download, so go down here, if you click it and it's an automatic download, then just cancel that, X that, and you want to right click it and say copy link address then just X out of that and then paste that right there and that's gonna automatically download the text pack for whatever uh, allow flight you usually want to do that true otherwise a lot of things get bugged up you can choose whether to have the nether true or false and that's pretty much it. Oh, one more thing is if you want command blocks to work, you're going to have to like click down here or whatever, hit enter, and then type um, allow command block. And then you're going to hit equals and then say true. And then you're going to save that. And then when you open it again, it should have that there that must be there if you want command blocks to work but then yeah so then you just uh, you want to run it using this not this so I'd recommend just uh, creating a shortcut and putting that on your desktop or whatever but I already have one created so I'm just gonna delete this one and mine is right here so I also have a shortcut up here so I'm just going to run that, and you want to find your IP address, so you're just going to go to Google, you type in what is my IP address, and then it says it right here, but I'm probably just going to blur this out, because like whatever, um, so you just want to uh, copy that, and then uh, you open up your Minecraft. By the way, you're going to have to use Hamachi uh, if you want other people to join. So basically, you just get Hamachi, you download it, you run it, and you... Uh, hold on. This is Hamachi. You just open it up. Uh, and then you create... You click Network, and then you click Create a New Network. You do whatever, you, like Minecraft Server... Then password, uh, usually it's just 123, confirm password, 123, and then you want to, uh, yeah, you have to create whatever, so just uh, do, oh, doofus butt munch, and then that, so you click create, and then you're going to want to go down, and you have to tell, your if you want your friends to join, you have to tell them to click network and then join an existing network and then put doofus butt munch as the uh, or whatever you cho chose as the uh, friggin username and tell them passwords one two three so that they can join and then uh, you just wanna you want to uh, copy the IP the address or whatever or you can copy it yeah you right click this and then you click copy IPv4 I cannot talk anyway so you close that it'll st it'll still stay open uh, after you hit X so anyway you just keep running you run the server or freaking Minecraft I am just rambling ramble 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 wait for Minecraft to open it, it'll say that sometimes just ignore it If you want uh, the ser if you want the texture pack to actually work, then you're gonna have to tell people to enable uh, server textures or whatever. Add server, the IP address. You go down, find this, and it should be on. You join server. And at first, you're not going to be able to change your game mode or anything, but that's just because you're not opt. 
and to op yourself, uh, lag, 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 lag. Anyway, uh, to op yourself, you have to go into this console and just type slash op your name, and then you'll be opt, and you can do whatever you want. And yay, Minecraft world, woo, woo. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.